Marilyn and I moved to Costa Mesa in 1977. Uh, we both retired in 2001 and we wanted to give back to our community. So we decided we were already involved with the Historical Society and we just decided to increase our time, increase our involvement, and we've been doing that continuously since 2001. I make sure everybody's got something to do. Everybody has a job they're supposed to do, but maybe they have questions about how to do it and so forth. Otherwise, I process collections. I talk to everybody about what we want to do in the future. You never know what you're going to do from one day to the next. It's, it's different. Uh, it depends on what kind of outreach we're planning or maybe we need more volunteers up at the Adobe and uh, so other people, some of us might go up there rather than be down here. And what do we call those houses that the Indians lived in? Oh, were they Wikiups? Wiki Wikiups, that's right, yeah, good for you. When I came down here, I saw that they weren't really using computers at all and that sort of thing and that was something that I could help with. I could help add computers here and and bring the society into the 21st century. The things here are um, all local, all to do with Costa Mesa. We have a very diverse community, and so because of that, um, we need to uh, find the things that tie us together. What is it that connects you and I? What is it that connects myself and Mary Ellen and the person down the street? And it's our local history. That's our history. It ties us all together. So with our diverse community, we think that, um, you know, tying and making connections among people are what's important for our future. And that's exactly what all the artifacts and all the things that you see here at the Historical Society are all about. We're interested in almost anything. If people have something and they think we might be interested in, the best thing to do is to call us and ask us. And we always, always want photographs. You can never get enough photographs, especially photographs that are identified. They aren't too much good to us if they're not. And uh, who, what, when, where, and why, the same thing you would do with a story. In fact, you can almost survive as a historical society on just photographs because, you know, one picture is worth a thousand words. We're all here now. What went on before? Why is the city the way it is? How did it get that way? We all are interested in that. And we feel very strongly that the more that people know about the community they live in, the more they're going to care about it. And in this world, caring is everything. <laughs>